Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just secretly rescued another U.S. hostage overnight, and cameras caught insane way he did it. To date, since taking office, President Trump has rescued 17 Americans held hostage in foreign countries outside the U.S. He continued his winning streak yesterday by bringing home Mormon missionary Joshua Holt, 26, after spending two years in a Venezuelan prison. Recently, Holt posted on Facebook that he feared for his life inside Helicoid prison. He pleaded for someone to help get him out of there and that is exactly what President Trump did. You are a tough one, I have to tell you, Trump told Holt. You've gone through a lot, more than most people could endure, Trump said. And he's so right on that point. Listen to this plea from Holt shortly before he was released. The people have taken the entire prison. They're outside. They're trying to break in. They're saying they want to KL me, they're saying they want me as their guarantee. I need help, Holt said in one terrifying video. I'm just overwhelmed with gratitude, Holt emotionally stated while thanking the president for helping him. How he survived being in prison in Venezuela for two years, we'll never know. They tend to starve their prisoners to DH because it's too expensive to feed them. That's if the gangs in the prison don't get your first, not to mention the specter of being tortured to DH. Holt's rescue, which occurred overnight as he was whisked dramatically by plane back to the States with his wife and daughter, is a far cry from what happened under Obama's presidency. Obama paid $400 million in ransom to the Iranians for four Americans. Trump paid nothing for Holt's release and left harsh sanctions in place until Maduro restores freedom in his socialist country. At the time, Obama lied and said it was not a ransom payment. Trump hasn't lied and has done far more for hostages than Obama ever thought of doing. Holt would have died in that prison if Clinton had been elected, bet on it. Trump's actions are far, far different than Obama's and Clinton's and he has saved many lives. Holt said tongue-in-cheek that his trip to Venezuela was not really the great vacation that I was looking for and thanked his wife for helping him get through the time he spent in prison. He traveled to Venezuela in 2016 to marry his wife to me, who he had met online while looking for Spanish-speaking Mormons to help him learn the language. He was immediately taken into custody by the Venezuelan government and imprisoned for two years without a trial. Holt was arrested on charges of espionage on June 30, 2016, and was then accused of stockpiling an assault rifle and grenades, suggesting his case was linked to other unspecified U.S. attempts to undermine Maduro's rule amid deep economic and political turbulence. His wife was also jailed for being Holt's accomplice. Holt's tearful parents thanked the president and all the members of Congress who advocated on their behalf, Senator Bob Corker RTN and Utah members of Congress, Senator Mike Lee, Senator Orrin Hatch, and Rep. Mia Love. After shaking Hatch's hand, Holt Bear hugged his mother, who was crying. He father also gave his son a huge hug and while grinning, quipped. We need somebody to mow the lawn, he said. It's about time. I don't think that there is a person in the United States right now that doesn't realize that you have their back, Mia Love told President Trump. I so wanted to personally thank you for keeping a promise that you made to me. Every time I would go and see you, I would bring up Joshua's name, and you would say, I'm going to do everything I can. And obviously, I believe it. Utah wants to thank you, Mr. President, for making this happen. We wouldn't have been able to do this without you. Mia Love then informed Holt, your mom never let us forget about you, she is one of the strongest women I know. Senator Orrin Hatch was instrumental in Holt's release and thankful to President Trump. Tihaz wouldn't have happened without you, he said. We just want you to know that, and to know that we can rely on you and count on you, and talk to you, and meet with you, these are all very important things. We love you, boy, and we just want to support you every way we can. We could actually write a book about the last 48 hours, Corker said. Their release came after Tennessee GOP Senator Bob Corker, chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, met with Venezuela's president, Nicolas Maduro two days after the socialist dictator kicked out the top U.S. diplomat in the country. His release was the outcome of months of secret, back-channel talks about Holt between one of the senator's aides and close allies of the Venezuelan president. Holt's Venezuelan wife, Thamara, was also freed and brought to the U.S. with her daughter. Senator Mike Lee warmly welcomed me to the U.S. and spoke to her in Spanish, Welcome to our country which is now your country. She had been held in a notorious Caracas prison run by the secret police that's also home to dozens of Maduro's top opponents who have been jailed during the past few years of political unrest in the country. We are all, as a group, very happy, President Trump said. But Maduro is not off the hook by any means.
This is viewed as a gesture of goodwill and it cost the U.S. nothing but diplomacy. Time will tell whether the U.S. will dance with Venezuela. But for now, President Trump should be lauded for bringing another American son home at long last. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.